Okay, students. This is the next level of the hand over hand arpeggios. After the first exercise is comfortable, then you can move on to this one. We're going to start with our left hand way down here um, with your pinky on C, and then your right hand is at the next hand position up, thumb on C. And we're going to go hand over hand. Watch very slowly. Now my pinky needs to be there so I can play another arpeggio. The right hand comes out. And then we'll top it off right there. There you go. And we can go back down. I get my pinky there. Good work. So let's do it a little slower. I'll give you some tips so that it's easy to switch your hands and cross your hands like that. When you first cross, we want to make your hand get into position. Again, like I said in the last video, before it's time to play the next note. Watch. I'm going to exaggerate. There's my hand. There we go. So in this case, I didn't let it float. I moved it really quickly because I want to be sure it's ready. Same with the right hand. I jumped it over here so that it was ready. And this one So I've showed you two ways. The one way is to float your hands, which will look more graceful. And the other way is to move your hands quickly and get them in position. That's the way I recommend you do first. And I recommend you do even a preliminary hand position exercise such as this. Watch. I'm not going to play at all. I'm just going to put my hands in their position. I'm going to touch the notes to get used to moving them, moving my fingers rather. There they go. And actually, I'm not even going to move my fingers like that. It's enough for me to just practice switching my hands just like that. Just like that. Do that a few times. It becomes so much easier to both play and switch once you get the switching down. All right, I'm looking where my fingers are going. I make sure I know where they're going before I move. So if you're kind of missing the mark, going too high or too low, you want to just slow down, look and find your note with your eyes. This is okay to use your eyes. A lot of teachers say, don't look at your fingers. In this case, it's good and profitable to look at your fingers. I'm looking at that C, the middle C, before I switch, so I know where I'm going. Then I'm looking at the high C before I switch, and I'm looking at the way high C up there before I play it. When you do that, oh, let me go backwards. When you do that, look, switch, look, switch. It'll become super easy to move your hands while you play. Again, remember to go slowly. I'll do it one more time and you can try it on your own. Here we go. When you get comfortable with that, you may do it faster. But until you're ready to do it faster, do it slowly. The idea is to be able to do it slowly and comfortable and accurate. Then you know it's time to try faster. Very good.
This has been another Teacher Away Challenge for you to try this week. Good luck.